everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs, and boy, do I have a fun card for you today. Can you see what's in there? That's money. I mean, who doesn't love to get money for their birthday, right? Um, this card features the Hooray for Surprises bundle. This is a really fun, interactive bundle um, from Stampin' Up. This is unique. We've never had anything like this. It creates little windows that you can peel open, um, or the recipient can peel open when they receive it. So like for this card, it has this little pull tab right here that you would, and I've already done it, that you would peel open to get to the money, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. These little uh, money holder windows, I'm gonna have linked for you. They are from Amazon. You can get a bunch of them for relatively inexpensive. Um, I uh, put money in this one, but the, the one we're going to make, I'm going to put chapstick in. So it doesn't even have to be money. You can put chapstick in there as well. Okay, let's get started. I also want to mention that I am using the larger heart from Filled with Fun and the little heart dies from a brand new bundle called Hearts and Hugs that will be available um, May 1st. I'm also using, as you can probably tell, um, new in colors. This is um, uh, peach pie, and we're combining it with pumpkin pie and melon mambo. All right, so you're going to need several pieces of cardstock. We're going to start with this piece right here, okay? That is a piece of peach pie, four by five and a fork. And when you order your little windows, they come like this, and they come with this sticker. And I'm going to use the sticker as a template. Well, I've got to punch it out. Let's see. There we go. I'm going to use the sticker as a template to show me where to cut my window. Now, because I already peeled this off, I'm going to stick this part on top of the window. That's how we're going to adhere it to the card. All right, so put that on top like that. Now I want my window to be down relatively low and I want it to be in the middle. So I think that looks pretty good. Well, it's stuck now, so we're going with it. It's a little bit crooked. Eh, that's okay. All right, grab something that you can use an X-Acto knife on. And I know that this is very glary when I put it on here. Um, I'm gonna use an X-Acto knife end on my take your pick tool okay and i'm gonna very carefully just go around the edge like this all right make sure you protect your surface behind that's why i put my glass mat there and i'm just gonna go around and i'm pushing down pretty hard because i want this to cut all the way through whoops Stay on the outside, just go slowly, okay? And then it should just punch right out. So there you go, pretty easy, right? Okay, so now we can get rid of the glass mat. Set that down here. And we're gonna do some stamping. We're gonna stamp this heart. This is the larger heart from the Filled with Fun. Um, filled with Fun? Filled with Happiness? filled with fun. Boy, these, these uh, stamp set names just start running together to, for me. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to stamp this in peach pie all over. Okay, like that. Now we'll get a piece of uh, peach pie designer series paper. This is from the In Colors paper stack. And I'm going to put that above here, about the middle of the top half of the card, okay? There we go. Now, how about that cute little heart? Well, we're going to cut that out of Melon Mambo. And then we're going to cut out a solid heart from another new color called Pretty in Pink. And we're going to adhere it onto the Pretty in Pink heart. I'm going to turn this into a sticker by using an adhesive sheet. And I'm just gonna peel off two sections here. Like that, and I'm gonna set this down on there like that, and then lay those back down onto it. And grab my scissors. 
and we'll cut that out. Now, I've turned that into a sticker sheet. So when we cut out that heart, it's gonna be a sticker. All right, so the first thing we'll do are the, the heart holes. Now, this heart die only cuts out um, the, the little holes. It doesn't cut out the edge. So we're gonna have to use another die. But what I wanna show you what I'm doing right now is I left the little, the little pieces in there from the last card that I made. So I just used my uh, die brush end of my take your pick tool to get those out of there. I can see we've got a few more. It comes with a foam mat, which of course, I don't know, it's not sitting here, so I'm just gonna do it the hard way. There we go. You wanna get all of those out so that it, you will um, ensure that it cuts all of the circles out of your new piece. Now, you have two heart dies. This one that has a little pull tab, don't use that one, you wanna use this one. This one will cut out the heart completely, okay? So get that on there. Grab your top plate and run that through. And there you have it. Now we need the bottom heart. So this time we're just gonna use the outline heart. Okay. And now we just have a solid heart. So we wanna make sure that we get all of those little dots out and then we'll peel off that adhesive backing. The adhesive backing really makes it easy so you don't have to use glue and see the glue squish out between all the holes, makes your hands sticky. There we go, very cute. All right, let's get all of these little dots out of here. There's a lot of them. Okay, now for our sentiment, we're gonna stamp it in both peach pie and melon mambo. I gotta clean it first before I stamp it here. All right, now I want the birthday part to be pink and then the hope you're and is wonderful to be the peach pie so i'm just going to cut these out like this all right so there's your hope you're now we need is wonderful like that and then over here we want just birthday Okay, so now for the birthday, I'm gonna flag the ends of it. So let me cut it so that it's even, and then I'm just gonna take my snips and cut inward towards the end of that, that little place that I cut in. So now your, your flag, you know your flag's gonna be even. So snip, snip, like that, okay? And then these, I'm just gonna cut the ends off so that they are rectangles. All right, so now we've got that. Let's bring over our ribbon. This is Peach Pie Ribbon. Stampin' Up! is famous for their color coordination. So you can get, if you like a color, you can get it in the cardstock, you can get the ink, the markers, alcohol markers, the ribbon, the embellishments, the pattern paper, and it all coordinates. Just like this um, piece of designer series paper is from the In Color Pack, and it's peach pie. So I knew for sure that it would match my card. All right, so we've got our bow. I'll cut those ends off, it's a little bit big, but I like big bows. Okay, now let's get dimensionals. You're gonna need uh, regular dimensionals and small dimensionals here because our words 
are going to need small dimensionals. You can also use adhesive sheets or adhesive foam adhesive strips, which I think maybe that will do that. They're a little bit less tedious. So I'm going to cut these and we'll start with the birthday. And that's going to go right in the middle. Okay, and then we need Hope Your. I think this color combination is great. Pumpkin Pie, Melon Mambo, and then the Soft Peach Pie. All right, one more. Let's see, where did I cut them down here? Like this. Now, this is a creative way to give money. You know, my kids, that's all they want now is money. So this is a fun way to give somebody money for their birthday. It's much more exciting than just sticking a 20 in an envelope, right? Okay, but this time we're going to put chapstick in ours. So let me peel off that adhesive. And it goes underneath like that. Okay. Now for our card base, we're going to put that little zipper on the inside of our card base. So I really kind of have to look at it and eyeball it and see where it needs to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pencil and just put a little line right there and a little line right there so that I know exactly where that zipper needs to be. Okay, here's the zipper die and we're going to... We want it to open on the end side. Let's see, I'm going to I'm going to go flip it over to the end side like that. All right. So I want it to actually I'm going to flip it. And I want it. Let's check my Let's put the pencil line on this side so that I can see it. All right. So now we've got pencil line and pencil line. Um, think about when you open the card, it'll be at the top. So I want the pull on the right side. I mean, it doesn't matter. You can put the pull wherever you want it to be. Okay. You know, I think what would really help here is some post-it tape so that we know it's going to not slip and go in the wrong place. Now, this isn't going to cut out anything. It's going to cut the perforated lines so that the recipient can then peel it off. So let's get this. Peel that tape off. Be very careful because you don't want to peel out that piece. See how that is? Very cool. Now I'm going to use, I have a little stamp here that says pull. So let's stamp that right there so that they know they gotta pull that to get out their treat. Okay, so now we'll put our chapstick in and I want it to be facing like that. And I'm actually gonna use my adhesive strips to put this on the card. This chapstick may be a little bit too big for these, this window. This is one of the Vaseline chapsticks that are much bigger than a regular chapstick. So I'm wondering if it's gonna poke out too much. Let's see, I have a $20 bill here we can add in there if we want. No, I think it's gonna be fine. All right, carefully lay that, center it right on your card. There we go. Now, when they pull it open, they'll be able to pop that through. Isn't that fun? Now, wait, we're not done. I felt like we needed a little something extra. So I have cut out some of those Melon Mambo hearts, again, from the Hearts and Hugs bundle. And they are cut from Melon Mambo. Did I already say that? Melon Mambo cardstock? I feel like I did say that. And we're just gonna add them in. There's two sizes. So we'll do some big, some small. Maybe I didn't cut out any of the small ones this time. I don't think I did. 
actually, you know what? I did not. There we go. Let's do one more up here. All right, now what about the inside? I feel like we should fancy up the inside since we fancied up the outside big time. You are gonna need for that a piece of basic white and a piece of peach pie. And I'm just gonna stamp some of those hearts. We'll do peach pie like that. And then we'll get the little heart, which is from the this set. And we'll stamp some melon mambo hearts. like that okay let's put this if i can find my adhesive boy i've made a big mess of my desk and we're going to put the white on the peach pie and then we're going to put the peach or the whole piece on the inside of our card. Now this card is not gonna fit in your regular envelope. So if you're gonna mail this, you're gonna need to get like a padded envelope for this. But it's definitely worth it, I think. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this project. The link for these little windows will be on my blog. And this bundle, the Hooray for Surprises bundle is available at a bundle price, which you save 10% through the end of April, 2024. And then after that in May, May 1st, it's in our annual catalog, but you, you don't have the bundle price option, but you can still buy the stamp set and the dies separately. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this project. Thanks for joining me. Bye.